polish video for you guys today. It is the Cirque Colors Speckled and Sparkles collection for you guys. Um, I apologize I didn't have a video for about a week and a half. I have been sick. I got super sick last week and then my car died and I have to buy a new car. Um, and so all these things just kind of piled up and I wanted to <laughs> crawl in a hole and not do anything for a week. So I have this video for you guys today and another Flashback Friday video for you guys on Friday. Um, today I will be talking about all 10 colors from the Speckled and Sparkled collection from Cirque Colors. Annie from Cirque Colors did kindly send me this entire collection to show to you guys. So I hope you guys like them. They're really quite beautiful and I am really excited to share them with you guys. Last year Sir Colors actually also released a speckled collection as well um, and one of the colors in this collection is a re-promote from that collection. Um, there are four speckled colors in this collection and four sparkled colors in this collection and they're really again quite beautiful spring colors. I will have photo swatches of all of these in my Instagram. I will link my Instagram down below as well as in my blog. I will have a blog post um, linked down below as well for all of the swatches as well as an embedded version of this video. Um, also I will link the Cirque Colors website down below so you guys can purchase all of these colors. These will be available on March 25th. The Speckled and Sparkled collection is limited edition so if you guys do want to get any of these colors again I will link the Cirque Colors website down below so you guys can purchase them promptly. The first color in the speckled side of things is called Acid Wash, and this is a very, very pale blue with a bunch of speckled pieces inside. All of the speckled pieces inside these polishes are actually, if you look very, very close, multi-chrome flakies, um, but they're very, very small flakies, so when you layer it up on your nails it does give off the speckled look like all of the speckled colors from last year. Even though they are multi-chrome flakies they don't come off as multi-chrome on the nail so um, I think it's because of the polish base. There's also quite a bit of the flakies packed in here so you get um, a really strong speckled look on the nail. Again acid wash is a very 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 pale blue it really is quite a delicate looking manicure when you wear this on its own. This was completely opaque for me in two coats and it does come off as blue. It doesn't look super white on the nail. The flakies in this nail polish are particularly more on the blue side in my opinion. Um, if you look at the bottle and you like angle the bottle it does go from like the dark blue and purple and it's the multi-chrome so it goes into like a really fiery orange and gold but it pulls mostly blue on the nail when you wear it. I think this one actually ended up being my favorite of the four speckled nail polishes. The next one is called Astra and it is a very pale mauve sort of pink color in the bottle but when you end up swatching and applying it it does pull a little bit darker than in the what it looks like in the bottle. In the description on the Cirque Colors website it is called a pale pink granite. I really I don't think I would call it a pale pink granite. I would definitely call it more of a mauve pink. This one has, if you look at the bottle, a little bit more of a reflective flaky versus a multi-chrome flaky, but it is a metallic flaky. The flakies end up looking just sort of black and speckled on the nails though. Since there is a little bit of like a sterling silver type of flaky in there, it gives a little bit more dimension in the speckled pieces on your nail so it looks like sort of black and then there's some like reflective silvery bits. This one was also opaque for me in two coats. The third color is called Hatch and this is the re-release from last year although again the flakies in this one are multi-chrome if you look at them versus the flakies from last year were just sort of like a blacky gray sort of color. This one is a white sort of warm white cream base with the flex in them and again looks very much like a speckled sort of egg on your nail. If you look at quail eggs. I've been watching a lot of cooking shows and so they use a lot of quail eggs and if you look at quail eggs they have that sort of speckled look to them sort of um, and this always reminds me of like a quail egg. This one was opaque for me in two coats as well. And then the last one is called mint chip and this is definitely like a mint chip ice cream sort of color. Um, the base is a very very light minty green color. It's not as blue as some minty greens can be. It's a little bit more on the green side and then again the speckles are in there with the multi-chrome flakies and a little bit, I feel like this one has a little bit of a gold micro flaky in there as well. On the nail though again it applies opaque in two coats and mostly looks like a black speckle on the nail. For me 
I would have really liked if the multi-chrome flaky sort of reflected multi-chrome through the cream base, although I don't know how they would have done that, so I understand why it ended up being that way. Um, again, I think Acid Wash was my favorite just because I am a sucker for like blue nail polish with blue accents in it, but they are very pretty nail polishes and they're really subtle and the colors themselves are kind of neutral in terms of blues and greens especially. And then from a distance, the speckle doesn't, it's not blaringly like speckles on your nails and so um, it's quite a neutral nail but still really fun to wear if you're somebody that wants or has to wear a neutral nail and wants to do something a little bit different. Now the other six colors from this collection are all from the sparkled part of this collection and they are along the lines of Halcyon and Reflector which were winter Christmas releases from Cirque Colors which were beautiful and super super popular because they were a very 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 reflective foil micro flaky type of nail polish that got really popular in the past year um in my opinion Sir colors has had the most reflective ones and has had the most finely milled shimmer sort of flake running through it so it serves a much more mirror like reflection on the nail. Um, these six colors are very, very similar to that. And so I'm really excited to show you guys these. Um, these are also specifically made with sterling silver foil shimmer, which is something that she mentions, again, specifically on her site about the speckled and sparkled collection. She uses a sterling silver shimmer foil because she says that it is much more reflective. And I agree, it is obviously much more reflective than some of the other shimmer foils that you can purchase right now. All six colors in the Sparkled collection also have a very, very subtle hollow running through them. So I thought they were going to be very, very similar, at least an idea to the KB Shimmer Birthstone collection, but they are very different. Um, and you'll see the colors are different and the finish is a little bit different. So um, if you guys like polishes like the KB Shimmer Birthstone collection, then you'll love these. The first one is called Basos, and this is a deep magenta with the sterling silver shimmer and a very subtle hollow running through it. This one was opaque for me. It could easily be opaque in one coat. I did two coats um, because I tend to do thinner coats, so I did two thin coats, but you could easily get away with one thick coat of this and have it be opaque. Very similar to um, Jess Face 90 said this in her video where she featured Halcyon, but, um, and I agree because I've done this before as well, and so has Holly. These colors, because they're so shimmery, you can get away with one coat and make it look like one coat of nail polish because it reflects so much light, but um, if you're somebody that really just in a personal stance doesn't like a visible nail line for you, then you'll like doing the two thin coats just so that it builds up perfectly opaque. Um, but with the one thick coat, you can totally, like no one else will notice that it is um, not like 100% opaque. It's like 99% opaque. But yeah, this is a really gorgeous color. I really like that it's quite a rich and saturated magenta and not just um, sort of like a like a metallicized magenta, if that makes any sense. A lot of colors that end up being in the shimmery foil vein of nail polish end up being a little bit silvered out, which is like the shiny version of grayed out. They tend to be a little bit less saturated, but Annie has managed to make a very, very bright and bold magenta color with a metallic shimmer foil running through it and a slight hollow and still have it read as a very, very bright and rich pink. The next one is called Chin Chin, and she describes this as a pale champagne sparkling sterling silver or sterling foil holographic. I would say this is a very, very pale gold with a slight sort of platinum feel to it. It's definitely more on the gold side if you compare it to Reflector, which was part of her winter recently released collection that had a Halcyon in it as well. Um, when you apply it on the nail. This one I also did two thin coats of. I would say this is the one of the six you would need to do the two thin coats of um, because it would be like 98% more like opaque on one coat on your nail, but it's really quite beautiful and really quite reflective. The next one is called Himalayan Pink and I saw this in the little promo info sheet that she gave me. And I said, yes, another color like Halcyon. And it does read quite a bit like Halcyon in the fact that it is a rose goldy color, like a copper penny color 
in the same sort of finish. This one does have a little bit more of a pink in my opinion and more of like a salmon-y sort of undertone versus like a copper penny undertone that Halcyon had. This one again also has this subtle hollow running through it. This is opaque in two thin coats or one thicker coat for you if you want to do the one thick coat. And this one just kind of reaffirms the fact that I think that she does this finish and nail polish the best of anyone that I've tried so far in that it's a very very finely milled sterling silver metallic hollow shimmer running through this nail polish and it just makes it so easy to apply it makes it super super sparkly and super shiny on your nail and it's quite a beautiful nail polish so if you are somebody that was looking for halcyon or you missed out on halcyon or you just you didn't get a backup or you just are a fan of these types of colors then absolutely pick up himalayan pink because um this may be your last chance to get this sort of nail polish from her the next color is called oasis and it's my favorite of the six and you guys can probably guess why and it's because it's a sort of teal based turquoisey blue with um, the same shimmer and hollow running through it. This one sort of answered all of my shimmer foil hollow dreams. I know that um, I Love Nail Polish released a color and a collection very similar to this but um, shade wise I'm very specific with my turquoise and teal blues and I wanted this particular shade. So she she did it for me. Well, not for me, but I like to think that she did it for me, but she did it for me. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Again, I do commend her on the fact that she made a pretty saturated and bold color even with the finish of the nail polish and the particles that are inside the polish. Again, it's kind of hard to do these sort of colors as bold and saturated as she has when um, a the, the nature of foils and metallics in general, they kind of want to be that more silvery version of a color. So I think that one's absolutely beautiful. Opaque in two thin coats for me. This one, like Basos, is bolder so it was more it was easier to get opaque in one coat. The next one is called St. Cloud and this is what I was talking about in the sort of like silvered out version of a color. Um, this is a really pale sort of lavender purple with the same finish again as the other four that I just talked about. And she actually describes this as a silver lavender. Um, it's a warm purple but still feels a little bit like a cool purple because of the silver running through it. This is sort of what um, metallic and foil colors want to be, this sort of silvered out version of a color because of the particles running through it. I do think that the silver, like, I do think that the sterling silver and the metallic foil running through this takes a much more center spot in the nail polish. It's it's obviously more celebrated in colors like this um, because when you do a bold color, the, you know, the shiny reflective mirror-like finish goes away a little bit when you do a bold color like this versus a lighter, more silvered out color. So it's really nice to have sort of the option of either like a paled out color versus a saturated color. The last color in the Sparkled collection is called Sensha and it is a seafoam green. Um, she describes it as a seafoam green sterling silver foil metallic hollow nail polish. I would say this is a little bit for me closer to like like a celery green. Seafoam kind of for me is a, like a little bit more of a bluey green color. This one is a little bit more green but it's still a beautiful color nonetheless. It's a little bit more on the paled out silvered out version of colors like um, St. Cloud was versus Basos and Oasis were but um, it's a really quite beautiful green nail polish. There's been an abundance of green nail polish I feel like in the nail polish world in the last um, like year. I've, I've like found personally a lot of really beautiful green nail polishes so this sort of adds to the less bright and bold green spectrum of things so if you are somebody that likes sort of the more pale greens then you're gonna absolutely love this. These are gonna be amazing in the spring because the sun is coming out especially through to the summer and they're just gonna be sparkly and fun and reflective. I love the collection as a whole because it gives you the option of your pastel creams with a little bit of something special as well as your bright colors, your metallic colors, and then your sort of more paled out colors as well. I will have photos and swatches in my blog which will be linked down below as well as in my Instagram, my nail polish Instagram. Um, I 
have another flashback Friday coming up this Friday. For now, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Sorry it was a little all over the place. I'm still kind of sick, so um, I need to get back into video mode. But um, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, if you could subscribe, that would totally make my day. If you guys have any favorites from this collection, are excited for this collection, please let me know in the comments down below. Again, otherwise, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys soon.